Coach V here, Viliami Tuivai with the Junior Sports Channel here at Azusa Pacific University as your guest host. I am absolutely excited to bring to you an inside look of what it takes, how a football practice is, and the intensity level to be successful in this level, and go from the youth football or the youth sports that you're in today and get to here in the future. <laughs> Yeah, some of you got great gifts, but ain't worth jack unless you can put it to the market. So find a way to make what you do valuable. And if you can find what you do valuable, guess what? People may even want to have you around a little bit more because you're a guy who knows how to get things done. So we got work to do, a lot of work. Get to work. Coach V here, Viliami Tuivai, with the head coach of APU, Cougar Nation APU football here this afternoon, right in the midst of their double days and camp and getting ready to win their third straight and giving every focus to that championship here at APU. Coach Santa Cruz, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. I really appreciate you guys being here. Please introduce yourself to the audience. Who are you? Where mm. are you from? And what do you believe in? What are some core values that you have? I tell you, I'm, a, I'm an ordinary guy who believes in an extraordinary God and that um, my core values are just to be able to be power, love, and self-discipline. And so understanding that, that I am full of that with through God and, and I want to give that to as many of these young people and so help them to, to defeat their own Goliaths in life. I'm going into my 15th season overall, my 10th year as the head coach, and so I do have quite a few roots. I've been fortunate enough to be a part of a program as we've grown through an NAI transition transition to Division II. Being a junior sports focused arena and platform that this is, yeah. let's start with parents. If, if there's a two approaches or, 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 or a nugget of gold to give parents, one or two, what, that, what, what would that be for them to focus on their children to get them to the collegiate level? First, it's going to be the, for the attitude and that the parent uh, develops in the young person. You can't find your identity in the sport, but you certainly can develop the, the potential of being a great in the sport. Here's what I mean by that, is that if you're developing in a way where your family starts to find their identity through the young person, uh, whether or not they played well that night or didn't play well, that young person's really gonna, I think it's gonna flame out after a while. So whether it be football, that family needs to do all they can to teach that young person, hey, work hard, learn the game, all right, develop the skill set, but also transfer it to your real life, transfer it to your homework, transfer it to your relationships. If those connections aren't being made, then I think us as families aren't doing the young person justice. Uh, so this is my biggest uh, uh, grieving thing that I see where, where parents are more about how they look for their, their child's performance. Right. And that's a, it's a real shame on that because ultimately the parent feels like whether or not they love them will be based off of how they played in that performance, that game. Performance, and they right. play in that game. And that's gonna, you're setting them up for failure because at some point they're gonna have a bad game. And you're setting your own relationship and your own identity as a parent in for failure. So uh, enjoy the game, work hard with your player in the game and do all you can to support your player in the game, but also be there to, 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 you can look the player in the eyes and say, you know what, I love you no matter what. Well, I'm a junior here on the field. I'm a senior academically. I hail from Fontana, California. I uh, went to Etiwanda High School where I played one year of varsity football. I was a basketball player my whole life. So football is still kind of new for me, but I'm learning, I'm loving it, and I kind of took a good grasp onto it. So God put me here for a reason and I'm making it happen. One or two things that the kids can go, okay, if I can do this, I could just be just like Sam and play at APU and be a middle linebacker. Yes, sir. Well, first, you want to just set some goals for yourself. Every day you wake up and you just have new goals for yourself, or even every week, just go write something down. Just have goals, and you reach those goals weekly. And then you have something monthly that you want to reach. Ooh. Then you have something yearly you want to reach. And once you reach those goals, you can see how far you've come. Secondly, keep God first. Without God, none of this will happen. If you don't have Him, then Nothing's gonna. Nothing's guaranteed. My name is Paul Flores. I play offensive line. I am a six-year senior. Um, I graduated uh, in my undergrad this past fall, and I'm starting my master's program now. Um, I'm from Bolton Park, California, and then have been at APU for all six years. 
you're in the midst of camp right now. What's camp like? Talk to us about the grind and tell some of the youth in the audience that's watching right now how hard it is to go through camp at the collegiate level. Yeah, I mean, camp's all about growing together as a team, growing together as a brotherhood, and just working together, taking it one day at a time, trying to get better as a team, trying to get better individually, and just working towards that ultimate goal of winning a championship. Well, the, one of the things we preach here uh, is, is being tough. But tough isn't how hard you hit somebody. Right. Tough, we, we preach tough is doing the right things longer than mm. everyone else. It's the endurance of doing tough things, uh, the things that nobody else wants to do. Right. And so it might be doing your homework, it might be listening to your parents. It might be going home early and not going to a party. It might be uh, for also all those kids. It, it, it's just following following the rules of life that are tough. This is college football, which means when you're in college, you've got to be able to get yourself the academic background and pedigree to get you say, hey, I can I can succeed in college. Uh, the NCAA says you got to fulfill a lot of requirements that you need right. to make sure you can you learn how to perform academically as well as you do athletically. So that's number one. Number two, you need to be somebody who is willing. And and hungry to grow. You realize that your high school days are not your best days. If I can find in an interview process for a young man that says, you know what, my high school career may have been great, but coach, it's, it's, it's only going to get better from here. I'm looking for a program to help develop me into that full player, that 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 champion type of player full of power, love, and self-discipline. Say life champion. Life champion. Say building champions. Building champions. While pursuing. While pursuing. Building champions. Building champions. So to finish and win and do it all again, you have to review your process, review the film, look at your technique, what can you do better? You need to refine it, make it better the next time you're out on the field or in life or in the classroom, and then you must regenerate, meaning leaving the bad behind and taking only the good with you and plugging into the passions of your life outside of football and the grind. Just finishing our session humbly with a great football team here at Azusa Pacific University. Their great head coach and their staff, Victor Santa Cruz. You got to hear some perspective from Coach Santa Cruz as well as Coach Rivas and some of the players here that play offensive line, they play linebacker, and they're giving you a perspective both as a parent and as youth on how to approach getting and breaking the barrier between trying to get to college and then getting some real sources and facts and opinions from experts that are right here on campus on what it takes to get to college, get you as a parent, your kids here, and making sure your kids attend college. This is Viliami Tuivai signing off from the Junior Sports Channel here at Azusa Pacific University. One love, mad respect, live it. Peace. One.